Welcome to Electron Line. Our job in finding the Fourier series can be made easier if we recognize what kind of function we're dealing with, if we're dealing with an even or an odd function. If we're dealing with an even function, and we should call it an even periodic function, then it's kind of like a cosine function. Of course, a cosine function is not a periodic function per se, but it has the same properties as a cosine function. In other words, it has a mirror image about the vertical axis. In other words, if we take this side of the function and we flip it over here, we have an exact duplicate on the other side. Another way of thinking about an even function is if we replace every independent variable t by a negative t, we get the exact same function. That's what that really means. And so we have some periodic functions here that can be considered even. Again, if you think about taking this and flipping it over, it looks exactly the same on both sides of the vertical axis. Same over here, we can flip this over. Same over here, we can flip this over. So therefore, these are considered even periodic functions. And when you're dealing with even periodic functions, there's something very specific about the coefficients. We can determine the coefficients as follows. A sub naught can be found to be 2 over t. Remember, normally we say 1 over t, but then we integrate over the entire period. We only have to integrate over half the period because of the symmetry on both sides of the vertical axis, and therefore we double the magnitude, so it's 2 over t, but then integrating only over half the period of the f of t dt. When we find the n, the a sub n's, again, we only have to integrate from 0 to half the period, but instead of having 2 over t there, we now have a 4 over t. We double the amplitude, but we only integrate over half the period. The rest is the same, f of t times the cosine of n omega t dt. But what's nice is you can be assured that when you deal with an even function, you do not have any b sub n terms. In other words, all the b sub n factors become equal to zero, and you don't have to try them out. You can simply not bother with those integrals. So it makes the job a lot easier. You only have to try to find the a sub naught, and you only need to try to find the a sub n's. You don't even have to try the b sub n's, because now you know for sure they're going to be equal to zero, as long as the, uh, the function is an even periodic function. So remember that. It'll save you time in the future.